So if you follow me on Twitter, you may have heard me bitching about the Windows Store, talking about how terrible it is. Well, now I'm going to show it to you. And I'm also going to show you how to fix your Forza Horizon 3 if you're having the same problems that I was running into. Uh, turns out Microsoft accidentally uploaded the developer build of Horizon 3 the other day, which screwed up a lot of people's games, including my own. So uh, they, I believe they're supposed to be putting out a patch that's going to resolve the issue. In the meantime, pretty much the only way to solve it is to uninstall the game. Uh, but while we're at it, I'm also going to show you just how dumb the Windows Store is and why Microsoft is probably having a hard time selling games in the Windows Store because everybody wants to avoid it. Uh, but you'll see here, trying to launch Forza Horizon 3 and I get the profile you're trying to load is no longer available. What you gotta do is you gotta go and, well, I'll show you first. Go to the Windows Store and you could check your downloads and updates and you could see which version you're running. If you're running the 37.2, that's the one you do not want. So that's the one we gotta install. And I don't see how we can uninstall it from here. So I end up just going and searching for it through Katana. So just uh, what you got to do, the easiest way I found is just right click on it, hit uninstall. Check this out. I'm going to my library in the Windows Store. Here's my games. I'm going to hit show all. Forza Horizon 3, nowhere to be found. It's it's still my game, even though I uninstalled it, I still own the game. So I'm going to do a search for it. And there's the standard edition. So let's click on that. And look, no way to reinstall the game. Click on manage, just brings me back to this stupid page that doesn't even list the game. So what I had to do in order to reinstall Forza Horizon 3 was I had to start the Xbox app. Then I clicked on Forza Horizon 3 here. Then click on view and store, which should be the exact same page as what we were just looking at. But all of a sudden now I can install the game. And I've had to do that several times with games on, on the Windows Store where you have to open up the Xbox app in order to get your games downloaded. It's like you almost have to have slight autism in order to figure out how to run this shit. And you would think if any company could figure out how to make a decent store, it would be Microsoft. But of course, no. Also, look down below. You'll see that it says that I own the expansion pack. I own the treasure map. There's Blizzard Mountain, which I also own. But it doesn't even tell me that. And again, it doesn't show up in my list of games that I own. So now we've downloaded the game. Let's go back to my library. Again, I've downloaded the game. It's still not on my list of games that I own. It's ridiculous. This is the Windows 10 store. Good job, Microsoft. Way to go. So let's search for it again. Again, I'm getting this redeem code, but let's, this time it says that I've installed it. So let's click on here. Wow. There I can play my freaking game that I own. How ridiculous is that? And again, look, this nowhere on this page is there the blizzard. So I want to get the blizzard because I need to download that again because whenever I uninstalled the game, it uninstalled all the DLC for it as well. This, this is what I've been bitching about on Twitter. And people are like, "Why? how could a store be so bad? This is how bad it freaking is. So after I finally searched Blizzard Mountain, or I just searched Blizzard, there we go. It says 1999, but now that I click on it, now it'll say install because I already own it. This this is the worst store that I've ever dealt with. And I mean, stores have been around for a very long time. So you would think that Microsoft may have done some research before they developed this piece of trash. So here I'm showing you that uh, the download uh, has been changed, has been modified. Still not in my games list. This, this game never shows up in my games list ridiculous it, do, it doesn't even show up down here where it says on games that don't work on this system and i just scrolled through here just to make sure that i didn't see it uh, unless i missed it somewhere but either way it's it's not showing up where it should be showing up
But now that I've reinstalled the game, it will go through. What'll happen is it'll bring up this, that it's syncing the data. And if it just sits on zero for a long time, just let it sit there. It'll eventually sync up and it'll eventually work. I think it maybe took like 10 or 15 minutes for it to finally go through on mine. And actually, once it synced up 100%, I still got an error. Uh, but then I said, just retry, and then all of a sudden, there it worked. So who knows? Microsoft needs to get their act together, especially if they want people to use the Windows Store. Because right now, I can understand why so many people want to avoid it.